Uh, race courses. Geography of race courses uh, in the UK, hot chosen by Mark Preston. Good luck, everybody, winning business. Beaches Brook. Chris, it's Chris. It's correct. Oh. <laughs> How much behind you was it? What is the only English race course in two counties being the headquarters? <laughs> Preston. Newmarket. Says he dismissively. A start in Cambridge and in Suffolk. Preston needs another two on that. Two, Which four, race? Four, four, four. Needs another Thanks, two Chris. On four that. points. Pilot on. Oh, three. pilot on, of course. Four. Good spot. Four, four points. Yes, Thank is. you. Which race course is called the Knaves, mate? <laughs> You don't even have to answer that one, mate. Who got there first, though? You, you did. Name my York. I've given you it already. <laughs> Rose Hill. Doncaster. Oh, how about that? Entry's looking a bit bad now, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good luck. As of November 2015, how many active UK races? <laughs> Ashton. 59. Minus one. If I'm honest, that's a debatable open question, Steve. Uh, Preston. I would have said 59 as well. But would you? Yeah, I would have Good done for you. Minus two. <laughs> Please. 58. Minus one. <laughs> McPartland. 60. Minus one. Uh, Rhodes. 62. Uh, as of twenty fifteen, how many active UK race courses begin with the letter F? Oh. Chris. One? No. Lake on. Three is correct. Pontwell, oh, no. Fakenham, and, and, and. Foxton? No, Foxton's closed. He's closed. 12. Foth Lass. Foth Lass. Yeah, yeah, cool. Who Fofflass. got the points, Chris? Chris. No, Laycock. No, Mark. Mark Laycock. Well done, man. I'm not used to that, mate. I'm not used to it. I'll take two points on horse racing any day of the week. Yeah, well done. Well hit. Nice swerves on the question, Steve. Must have admit He said bitterly. Yes. No swerve about it. Uh, next one. Which race course held its first horse race on the 11th of August, 1711? <laughs> Preston. Ascot. Bugger me. Queen Anne Stakes Royal Ascot. She set the uh, Only seven, six miles from Windsor Castle. That's yeah. a great answer, Preston. You are seriously sad, are you? Yeah. Mm. Uh, Have you only just noticed? Two more. <laughs> two more. Four, thanks, mate. Four, thanks, mate. Yeah. Which English race course, who'd have, thought, who'd have seen that one coming, eh? Which English race course is the best part of 50 miles closer to Amsterdam than any <laughs> Preston? Uh, probably, well, it was, it's uh, Christmas! Uh, it'll be at Yarmouth. Yarmouth. Well. Yarmouth. Yes. Great Yarmouth. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Just. Just. <laughs> Fuck General, I remember that. Generous that. that. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. The, by far and away the closest to Amsterdam, by like miles and miles and miles. Yeah. Okay, which one mile, four furlong, sorry, left-handed race course is horseshoe shaped? Nice Christmas. Preston. That's going to be excellent. Very good. What can you do, Deb? What can you do? Tell Elliot she'd have loved this round of half. <laughs> 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 Preston, yeah, you're not four four points point. for me. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking for. I'm, I'm, I'm losing track. There isn't enough space left on the spreadsheet. I've not built it big enough. <laughs> is there twenty of them more? These left. Two more of the torches oh, to go more. for you all. <laughs> this is worse than Game of Thrones. For you, oh, maybe. Twenty-two is the record at the moment on your own topic. No, twenty-four. Twenty-four. 24. Think, all right Chris, then. Sorry. Trundle Hill? Clive? Woodwood. Yes. Yay! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well done, Steve. Well done. 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 Well done.
well done, Clive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What distance is generally ascribed to the circumference of Pontefract Racecourse? Lake No. Chris. Uh, 3.7 miles. Road. It's Christmas. Lees. Four miles. Vince. One mile, four furlongs. Preston. Two miles, two furlongs. No. McPartland. Three miles. McDonald. Uh, three miles, two furlongs. It's Christmas. Aspen. Two miles, three furlongs. Straight two miles. <laughs> and Sam. What you weren't going to say two miles. Straight two miles. No points, nothing missing. It's the longest flat. I just said to these guys in the car, it actually it's holds the longest flat race in the world. The Pippa Long Stakes every July, two miles, seven furlongs. It's the longest flat race, uh, uh, reg, uh, official reg. Uh, in the world, two miles seven. That's next so. question, sir. So. Well, thank you for sharing that with us, Mike. It's called the Pippalong Stakes. You're down there. Cheers, Mike. <laughs> next one. Is, uh, we're on to general knowledge. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, right. It is tilt seven, so we're good. Oh, yeah. Who died aged 47 of a barbiturate overdose in that? Leaves. Judy Garland. Ooh, yeah. Oh, well, 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 well. 1968. 69, 69, I've got 60, 69. Yeah, Six 20, years 60, after starting the last film, I could go on a shoestring. Sorry, so I could go on days. singing. Which American president uh, saw active service in both worlds? <coughs> Sam, <coughs> Dwight D of that yeah. ilk is absolutely correct. Trailing Valentino Rossi by seven points going... <coughs> McDonald! Okay, Lorenzo. Jorge Lorenzo is correct then! Come on, son! You see that, that's Brent. <laughs> Just for you, Brent. <laughs> In which country was the epicentre of the violent earthquake of the 25th of April 2015? <laughs> it's Christmas! Vince. Chile. Ashton! Nepal? Nepal is the oh, correct oh, answer. Oh, Vince! It's got to be one or the other. Yeah. Uh, resulting in thousands of fatalities. Okay, next one. In which Ukrainian port did Rosemont <laughs> leave? Odessa. Odessa. No, uh, oh, minus one, I'm afraid. Uh, it's for Preston. I wouldn't say Odessa as well. Minus one. Sebastopol? No. Chris. Next. It was Yalta. It was Yalta, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, Thanks yeah, for bailing me out on that yeah, one. Yeah. Appreciate that. Which Labour MP for Linlithgow? Succeeded Edward Heath as the father of the house in 2000. It's Ashton. Tam Dale is the correct answer. <laughs> 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 Who played Kenny Larkin in four 1987 episodes? Clive. Episodes of Neighbours. It's yeah, Russell well Crowe. Four episodes, not many. What is the Frank in Frank Bruno short for? Chris. Franklin. Franklin is correct. The disease scurvy occurs Lake Oak. Mm -hmm. Go for that, come on in. Yeah, that's where you get them. Let's hope it's one of those lowly things. Featuring neither Marple nor Poirot. <laughs> Sam? Yeah. yeah, well done. Ah. <laughs> and then there were none. Which uh, was place Agatha yeah. Christie book was uh, most favourite this year? Sorry, what's that book called again? I can't then remember, Chris, what was it called? Then there was one. Uh, then then was one. Amnesia. Then there was one. Oh, thank you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, someone buzzed in just after I said that word. <laughs> Within business. <laughs> Which former brother in law of Henry VIII? <laughs> Sam. No, sorry, I missed it. Minus one, Sam, you didn't mishear me at all, you're just too cavalier by far. Uh, no, 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 no. McPartland. Berlin. No, and Born I would... Your brother-in-law? Uh, yeah, I think it was... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. McPartland. Andy. <laughs> Which former brother-in-law of Henry VIII did Catherine Palm marry... <laughs> Chris. Philip II of Spain. Minus one. Uh, there's somebody there, Preston. I was at Philip as well, but then again, Clive. Oh, right. Clive, is it? Oh, Clive, sorry. Seymour. Yeah, uh, 
Preston, you get one back there, mate. Sorry about that. Uh, Clive, you get the point. <coughs> Seymour. What is the northern terminus? Northern terminus. The northern terminus of the Arctic Circle Express from Stockholm via Kiruna and Narvik. It's Christmas. Hell. Huh? Hell. Not hell, but it's finished. Uh, Ashton. Tromso. What? Tromso. Toronto. Tromso. Not Tromso, no, sorry. Uh, Lee's. A nuke. Rhodes. Godfab. Childs. I was thinking Tromso, so. No. Well, McFarl, McPartland. Trondheim. Trondheim. Oh, that's what I was thinking. to go. A literal translation from the Greek of what is toponymy? Leave. It's Christmas! Trees. Minus one, I've not really finished that question, just. Uh, Preston. I would have said the cultivation of bonsai trees, isn't it? Ashton. Place names? Place names is perfect. Oh, well done, Ashton. Go on. One more to go on this section. No, two more to go, I'm sorry. Yeah. Which novel? By Charles Dickens, features the character Dolly Barden. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Not Martin just went, but we finished it right. It's Christmas. Barden oh, Rudge is correct. Oh, God. That's boring when Clive gets yeah, hurt like that. It's like somebody who hits a golf ball gone. straight all the time. <laughs> Maynard Ferguson, Harry James, and Miles Davis are all associated. <laughs> Ashton, trumpet is correct, well done Ashton, that's a good six points on that round for you. Uh, we'll have a very quick break while I stop the cameras and start them again. So we've got the